Hey guys, it's Clarissa Takshi, MasterChef winner 2019, and I'm here with Castle Towers. Sometimes cooking seafood can be a little daunting, but what if I told you that I found a foolproof way of nailing it every single time? Fish en papillante is an easy, healthy, and flavorful way of cooking fish. Sealed in its own parchment parcel, the fish is essentially steamed and infused with flavor inside a convenient little package. This dish relies heavily on getting the freshest produce you can possibly get your hands on. So naturally, I headed down to Castle Towers to visit some of the fresh food stores to grab all of my ingredients. Okay, so here we have some beautiful snapper from Costi's. I've got some fresh herbs and some fresh vegetables from Fresh World, and I've got some seasonings from Cole Supermarket. Okay, let's get cooking. So we're gonna start off with our marinade. I've got beautiful olive oil here, some fresh dill that I've just chopped up really roughly, fennel seeds, just a nice generous amount of fennel seeds. Then we've got some chili flakes, and of course the most important part is sea salt. Okay, so we're just gonna stir this till it's nicely combined. Okay, so now we've got some lemon zest to add to this marinade. Lemon, herbs, olive oil is a perfect combination for your fish. We're gonna stir that through again, and now we're gonna add some of our vegetables. So I thought fennel would be a perfect combination with the fish, so in goes some fennel. Here I've got some kipfer potatoes that I've already parboiled and just slice them just like this. So that goes into the bowl as well. In you go. We're going to coat this again and then we're going to start adding the fish to it. Right, now it's time to add the fish to the marinade. Now I'm just going to add one fill at a time just to not overcrowd the bowl. Here we've got some beautiful snapper from Costi's. I recommend getting a firm white fish so that it holds its shape nicely in the cooking process. You can use any fish that you like, just as long as when you visit Costi's, you tell them to remove the skin and take out all the bones. Okay, let's make some space on our table here because we're gonna start building the parcel. Grab yourself a piece of baking paper like this and place it on a flat surface. And now it's time to build our ingredients to make it into a parcel. Okay, so we're going to put the vegetables down first. So down goes the fennel. Now don't go too crazy, we don't want to overcrowd our little parcel here. So the fennel, we've got potato. Okay, so down goes the fish. And these vegetables will act as a little bed to help this fish steam the parcel. Okay, let's add some fresh dill to this fish. Twist it, just roughly like this and sprinkle it all over. Feel free to use any other herbs that you have in your fridge or any other flavor combinations. You can do parsley, you can do fresh mint or even coriander if you're doing an Asian style fish. Now let's wrap this into a parcel. Okay, so we're going to fold this in half first. Over the top like this. We're gonna to start to our left and work our way around to the right. Nice and firm and just keep crimping down those sides. It's twisting and turning and pushing down. Now this part here, you could add a splash of wine or a splash of stock, but in this case, I don't think we need it and I'm gonna keep sealing this up. Now that's all sealed in. I'm gonna pop this onto a tray and then into the oven. Okay, so this has just come out of the oven. It's been there for roughly 10 to 12 minutes at 220 degrees. And now it's time for the magical reveal. Okay, now for the toppings. So let's start off with some sour creme fraiche. I'm gonna get some salsa verde, some capers, little pops of acid. I've reserved some of that marinade, so I might drizzle that on top as well. Of course, we need to season with sea salt. And last but not least, some fresh herbs. So again, we're gonna go with dill, and of course, some tarragon leaves. And there we have it, fish en papillon, perfect for a family weeknight dinner or to impress some of your dinner guests. 